let's have a look at question 19. So if the worker can achieve a maximum utility level V elsewhere, then the wage, the wage must be at least the following to attract the worker. So in other words, the intuition here is this. If the worker can work somewhere else and have a certain happiness from that, then for us, for us to make him work at our company, we must make his utility from our company, so utility from working at our company, to be at least the same as the utility in the other company. So it has to be greater than or equal to the utility in other company which is V. Now uh, we know the utility in uh, this company, we know the utility function in this company, let's let's crop it over here. Um, yes, let's crop this one over here below. So we'll take it like that, copy and paste it. Now what do we have? We have the utility function and we also know, we also know the effort level. We calculated it in the previous question, we have it actually in our picture right now is this one, this was the optimal effort level. So we're going to use this effort level into the utility function. So the utility function is gonna look like W plus gamma times the effort level, which is gamma divided by theta minus one over two multiplied with theta multiplied with the effort to the power of two. So the effort level gamma over theta to the power of two must be greater than or equal to V now let's work out the math over here. What do we have? We have W, we have W plus gamma times gamma. It's just gamma squared divided by theta minus, uh, what do we have from here? One over two times theta times gamma squared divided by theta squared, because we're raising both terms to the power of two. This must be greater than or equal to V. What do we notice? We notice that we can cancel theta with the theta from here. And as a result, we have, what do we have? We have W plus gamma squared divided by theta minus uh, gamma squared divided by two theta is greater than or equal to V. Uh, okay, so let's write it in a more simple way. Let's just go over here below W. Uh, here is one gamma square minus one over two gamma squared divided by theta. So we're subtracting a half from this entire term. In other words, we're left with just a half, so one plus one over two gamma square divided by theta must be greater than or equal to V. And if we take this term to the other side and leave W only, we leave the wage because we wanna know what is the wage to attract the worker. Well, that wage is gonna be equal to, that wage is gonna be equal to V minus one over two gamma square divided by theta. And if we check with the answer key, what we can see in the answer key is that they have V minus one over two gamma square over two theta square, but we only found out theta. So this answer is not correct. The answer is false and we are done.